Some fans say that he's a mix of Edison Cavani and Luis Suarez in one player. Darwin Nunez is one of the most talented forwards we've seen in this upcoming generation, but he's probably more clinical with his game off the pitch. So why don't we take a look at his crazy lifestyle, expensive properties, tattoo obsession, net worth, relationships, and all there is to know. Nunez's childhood is one where he went from obscurity to riches. Darwin Gabriel Nunez Ribeiro was born on the 24th of June 1999 in one of the most underprivileged neighborhoods called El Pirata in Artigas, Uruguay. The area has close borders with Argentina and Brazil. His mother, Silvia Ribeiro, sold milk bottles on the street while his father, Bibiano Nunez, was a construction worker. Growing up in an impoverished family meant that there wasn't always food on the table, so a lot of sacrifices had to be made. To add to that, the area was prone to flooding and Nunez's family invested a significant part of the little they had in home repairs. Nunez found solace in football at an early age and played for local clubs La Luz and San Miguel as a child. He was then scouted at the age of 14 by Jose Perdomo, a former Uruguay international. Nunez moved alone to the capital city Montevideo to join Peñarol, but he was homesick and returned home a year later. Meanwhile, things had gone from bad to worse and his elder brother had to give up his dream of also wanting to be a footballer in order to take up a job and provide for the family. At 17, Nunez had a nasty anterior cruciate ligament injury that ruled him out for more than a year and required two operations. He wanted to give up on his career at this point, but his brother, who is now a policeman today, and coaches encouraged him. That was some good advice because look who we have today. Nunez made his professional debut with Peñarol in November 2017 and wasted no time in showing that he was one of the most promising young players in Uruguay, but things moved really slow because, you see, his first goal came almost a year later. But after Spanish Segunda Division club Almeria signed him on a club record fee of $4.5 million in August 2019, his breakthrough came. Nunez had an impressive debut season and scored 16 goals and 32 appearances across all competitions. As a result, he quickly became a fan favorite as Almeria got promoted to La Liga. Nunez's success in Spain coincided with him earning his first call-up to the Uruguayan senior team and guess what? He found the back of the net within 5 minutes of his introduction as a substitute in the match against Peru in October 2019. As of now, Nunez has earned 20 caps for the Uruguayan national team. After the season ended, Nunez moved to Benfica, who reportedly splashed 24 million euros to secure his services. This made him the most expensive signing in the history of the Portuguese league at the time. Nunez's two-year stay at Benfica was nothing short of special as he netted 48 goals in 85 appearances, and when you do that, you can be pretty sure about what follows. Attention of the English Premier League heavyweights. Liverpool were able to beat off competition from other rivals, but they had to pay heavily for it, securing a signature for yet another club record fee of £85 million. Nunez was just coming off the back of being the Primera Liga top scorer and player of the year for the 2021 and 22 season, so it wasn't too surprising to see the Eagles hold on to him so tightly. Overall, Nunez's debut season at Liverpool was somewhat mixed because while we all saw his potential, the rough diamond needed some polishing. Nunez scored 15 goals and 42 appearances for the 2022 and 23 season as the club narrowly missed out on Champions League qualification. This season, Nunez was given the prestigious number 9 jersey and he's been off to a blistering start and we can agree that he will be a huge asset for Liverpool, all things being equal because he has the speed, technique, strength and finishing. Having settled into life and Merseyside on the pitch, let's now find out what's going on away from the pitch. Nunez and his partner Lorena Mañas shared the news about the birth of their son in January 2022. For those who don't know Lorena, she is the former partner of ex-Barcelona winger Alex Vidal, with whom she has a daughter. Lorena is almost 10 years older than Nunez. The couple first met in 2020 when Nunez was still playing for Almeria and it's been blissful since then. Family comes first for the Uruguayan, which he doesn't hesitate to let everyone know on his social media. He's always conscious of the importance of valuing those who sacrifice everything for the sake of his career. During his day off, you might find Nunez fishing or hanging out with a bunch of friends. He also enjoys going on exotic holidays with his partner. The Uruguayan particularly loves heading to the beach, but if you know the man well, you know that he cannot resist getting a new haircut every now and then. He's been spotted changing hairstyles on numerous occasions, but he's got that really long, silky hair, so why not? 
As part of his style, Nunes is a big fan of tattoos, and he has quite a collection on his body. The word family is embroidered on his chest and serves as a focal point along with flowers, sketches of mythical and historical figures on his left arm, and right shin. But arguably the most intriguing of all of his tattoos is the lion tattoo found on his back. According to Nunez, it represents strength and courage, which he hopes to exhibit on and off the pitch. Although Nunez may be quite fiery on the pitch, he's actually more reserved outside of the pitch and that kind of shows when you take a look at his properties. Two years ago, Nunez shared a snap of his humble family house showing just how far he's come. As soon as he started making some cool cash, he bought a house for his family in Artigas. Last time we checked, Nunez was living in a rented apartment in Merseyside with his partner and kids. It's a three-bedroom apartment covering 120 square meters. Nunez isn't one to show off his properties, so we don't know the full extent of what his house looks like, but at least we've got more details about his garage. Nunez drives a Mercedes-Benz Bravis G63 priced at $580,000. This car has a maximum power of 900 horsepower and reaches a top speed of 130 miles per hour. He also owns a BMW X5 and a Lamborghini Urus all in his garage. At this point, we've got to admit that the footballer has a great taste despite being modest. For those wondering how Nunez has enough money to splash on expensive cars, remember that his weekly salary at Liverpool is around 140,000 pounds a week, which adds up to 7.2 million pounds a year. Although he makes most of his salary on the pitch, Nunez also has great sponsorship deals and has millions of followers on all of his social media platforms. He is sponsored by Nike and wears Nike's Zoom Mercurial Superfly 9 football cleats. He also has done some promos for several other top brands. We estimate his net worth to be at least $23 million, which is quite amazing for a 24-year-old. Clearly, the future is bright. Being someone who comes from a humble background, Nunez does a lot of charity back home. He has helped kids with money, further education. Earlier this year, he made an appearance as part of a charity game in his hometown Artigas with the aim of collecting food and supplies for local families in need. And that's just to mention one of the numerous kind gestures that he offers to those in need, but it doesn't mean that he hasn't found himself in a couple of controversies. From missed goals, to aggressive tackles, to headbutts, and an unyielding spirit. Nunez is Liverpool's controversial hero. He recently snubbed handshakes after Liverpool experienced their first defeat of the Europa League this season to Toulouse. But the problem many fans have with the footballer is that he is a little rough around the edges because sometimes what follows his clever movement and crazy runs could be moments of unpredictability, wayward shooting, and lose touches, but at this point, it's pretty clear that all that is going to improve in the future, and it can only get better from here. But what are your thoughts about Darwin Nunez?